Ryan's next after Ryan and Simon's ass. Like, it's just how it's going to be. And I feel like it's going to be taken personal. And I don't want this to be taken personal. Like, I don't want to be arguing about it. Like, it's simp- like it's all game, you know? And I know my ass is going to be a target. It's all game. I don't have, I don't want any beef. I know I'm going to have it. Oh, gosh. So what a week it has been now. So let's catch you up because a lot's been going on. So... Last time I did the DR, we were talking about Clayton potentially getting evicted and bam, bye, he goes, goodbye Clayton. I don't know, I've got nothing against Clayton, didn't really speak to him in the game, Clayton was winning a lot. Um, this week wasn't as ideal as I hoped. Um, one of my closest allies in the game, Clayton, um, went home, Amber and Don turned on me. After Clayton was evicted, because nobody's even talking to me, and it's so miserable. I just know I'm like the house target. Clayton's gone. And I voted for him to stay. Simon voted for him to stay. And either Ryan or Allie, and probably, it was probably Ryan, voted for him to stay. So that means us against like everybody in the game. You know what? Brendan said it well. Like, I, it was Simon Says for the first couple rounds of the game. And then now I'm trying to just survive. And I'm sad because Clayton left and... Like, obviously, I really like playing. I've said that in fucking, like, every confessional. Simon said they're going to play this back and see the episodes. The episodes aren't going to be boring. You're going to see that some people were smarter than we got credit for. You know, Clayton said he's with me, but then you didn't fucking play to me. You went to a showman's. Cool. I got no beef with that, but if you want to play me, you got to keep playing me. You got to actually talk to me. You can't say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I'm not a gay dude. Simon's cute as fuck, and he's gay. I get it. Simon's cute as fuck. Hell, I'm kind of straight. I do still told Amber that I'm going to try to take her to the final two, which, if it's up to me, I probably will still honor that deal. It's because that is the first deal that I made in this game. Do I trust her 100%? No, no. Her and Don are clearly playing both sides of the house. Uh, absolutely playing both sides. So I don't really trust a thing that they say or do anymore. Oh. My. God. What the fuck have I done? Oh my god. I have created so much drama oh my lord i'm in so much trouble like it's just a matter of time before people start talking and like really go after me i mean maybe they already are maybe simon and ryan have already told mikey and jesse about all this and and now it's just me and ryan and i love ryan i th- i love ryan he's so genuine yeah, I did find out about his final two deals with multiple people, but it was still within the group, so I was like, okay with it. So, plain and simple, I have to throw my whole strategy out the window. I pretty much have to win the next HOH. If I don't win, I'm probably going to be on the block and could be potentially going home, and that's not what I want to happen. So, I'm going to have to take matters in my own hands and win a competition, and when I need to win, I will win, and I'm not really worried about that. <laughs> And HOH is tonight, and we really need to get it. And I suck at cops. Let's be real here. I suck. I suck. I suck. Ah, driving like a crazy person to get home to do this comp, so I don't get called a bitch for not doing it because I was sick. People, people are mean. Like who calls someone a bitch because they didn't do a comp because they were sick? Like come on, almost home. This head of household competition is called Seek to Spell. This will be a challenge of both physical and skill. You will need to be on camera for this competition and it will be played individually. Each player will be given five minutes to collect as many random household items as they can. Players will use the items they brought back to spell the longest word they can. Here's how it will work. Players will only be allowed to use the first letter of every item that they have retrieved to spell out their final word. If an item goes by multiple names, players will be asked to state which name they choose it to go by. To be clear, the item itself must go by a generic name. For example, mouthwash, soap, cookies, pillows, water bottle, etc. The game maker will be sure to make all items clear as well as marking down the letters that players are allowed to use to complete the competition. Once you've been marked down with all the items that you are using, you will be given an additional 5 minutes to spell the longest word you can. Each letter can only be used once, however vowels can be used twice. When the timer runs out, you will be required to lock in your final word. If two or more players tie on the longest word, the player who collected the most letters slash items in part one of this competition will break the tie. 
At the end of the competition, the player with the longest word correctly spelled will be crowned the new Pedagostal. I hope this strategy works. I'm trying to spell my word as I go, but I'm not sure I have all the letters. <laughs> I should have I should have did earbuds for headphones. Why did I not do that? <laughs> I don't understand why you're laughing. You don't have any vowels. None? No. <laughs> okay, you know what? Here, I'm gonna switch um headphones for earbuds. Yay! Okay. This is so sad. <laughs> you're doing great, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you ready? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm screwed. Okay, you got five minutes. I have a wallet, W. I have a remote for R. Headphones for H. I have camera for C. A knife for K. Okay. I just found a bunch of stuff. A hat. I got, um, these, like, autographed pictures. PLL DVD. <laughs> Perfume eyeshadow nail polish and that's all i got <laughs> okay so i have cheese i have eight pack um i have an ice pack i have a lighter i have a diaper I have an earring and i have a necklace okay so anti-cavity oral rinse accuview contacts liquor body wash Mop. Spelling counts, right? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> oh, you suck. Where's my pile? This I was going to go with as beans for a B. Right. It'd be hard at that. She might get upset with you later. Uno. I'll take the U. Got a Buddha doll here. So that would be uh, the board game. I'll take the B. Laptop for an L. Eardrops. Can I get the E? All right, uh, seashell for an S. <laughs> R for remotes. All right, eggs. As a chain and one is gold. K for knife. Infringement withdrawal notice. Can I N for notepad? I'll use G for glove. And S for scissors. No, nah, it doesn't. Damn it. <laughs> you didn't have an O. No. Nah. Ah, that's annoying. Oh, well, I guess, because it's only what I put, I guess, my score is zero. M, mouthwash. I for ice cream. S for sweatshirt. All right, uh, underwear. Nickels. D for deodorant. E for eye drops. R for razor. Uh, S for sandals. T for Tylenol. Uh, A for alcohol. N for necklace. Uh, D, Doritos. Uh, G for granola. I could win. I could now. 
I could win this comp right now because I've got a nice 14 letter word. However, I don't think I want to. So I think we're going to go with a nice nine or something. Yeah, but we, I don't want to win this comp. So we're going to scroll down a bit and we're going to go with a nice shorter word. But let it be on the record that if I wanted to win, I could have had a 14 letter word. Like if I wanted to win, I could have had unpredictables for a 14 letter word, but I'm not doing that. I've got a lot of things to go through here. <laughs> An iPad. A neck scarf. Okay, food. What is it? Food. An eye mask. And some condoms. A trophy. I know I had an owl, but I don't love it. I didn't get an E? Are you fucking kidding me, Simon? I couldn't- Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I don't have an N? Oh my god. 30 seconds? I fucking lost. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that's time. Lock in your final word. I'm Lock in your final. I'm done. Uh, wait, what? I don't have a. I don't have a word. Um. All right, hold on. Can I switch just the extra olive oil? Time ran out. All right, then I lost. All right, guys, thanks for congratulating me. For those of you that did on the HOH this week, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit unorthodox this week, and although I'm HOH, I'm gonna put the power in your guys' hands. So we're gonna play a little game. I'm asking each and every one of you, uh, if you could please send me a direct message with the two people that uh, you would like to see on the block this week. And the two people with the highest number of votes uh, will be nominated. And if for whatever reason you don't send me nominations, I'm sorry, you're going to go up. Uh, you got no choice. And if there's more than two people that don't send me nominations, we're going to take a nice spin on the roulette wheel. And the two people that get randomly selected are going to be my nominees this week. Um, but once everybody sends me their votes, I will go down the list on who's got what number of votes. And those two people are going to be thrown up. Uh, on the block and if you have any questions just message me and let me know but you could please send me your two nominations let's see it is seven o'clock pacific time right now so 10 o'clock eastern uh, if you could send me your nominations uh, we'll give everybody say we'll, we'll make it let's say 12 hours from now so we'll do 7 a.m. Pacific, which is pretty much when I wake up, and 10 a.m. Eastern. If you could send everything to me um, by that time, uh, that'd be great. And again, if you don't, then unfortunately, then you'll probably be nominated. So um, best of luck, everybody, and hopefully you survive the block this week. Thanks. I went from literally being on the bottom, working my way all the way up to the top, winning HOH, just annihilating uh, the competitions. I'm extremely pumped up, although I really didn't want to have to show my cards this early in the game, but it is what it is. Um, had to win the competition to keep myself safe. HOH results happened, <laughs> and then that's when my day turned around, because Ryan won. Ryan won the head of household, and it made me so happy. Ryan won his second HOH, and I wasn't very happy because he was definitely against me, and um, so I went and talked to him, of course, and I wanted to see if I could get anything out of him, and uh, basically he said that he wasn't going to nominate anyone, 
he was going to let us decide and we would all vote for people. And so I voted and I voted for Ashley and Kristen. For my nomination ideas to Ryan, I voted for Brendan and Ashley because Ashley hasn't taught game to me at all. And Brendan barely talks game with me either, just a little bit, but not much. And he's kind of sketchy. I created that uh, Ryan's HOH chat group um, just to get everyone on, on board and on the same page and just to make sure there wasn't any um, just any questioning and uh, any like people not knowing what to do. It was supposed to just make it so it's simple and easy and everyone knows who to vote for. Um, and it was supposed to create unity, but and avoid the problems that Ryan was probably trying to was the, avoid the problems that Ryan was trying to cause and um, try and minimize his pot stirring effects. And it's it's <laughs> not helped. Apparently now someone has blabbed to Kristen about um, this group. Jesse told me that uh, she heard from that Kristen told Ali, who told Jesse, who now told me. Um, so uh, it just doesn't make sense who would have done it. Um, I didn't do it. Uh, Josh and um, Mikey weren't online at the time, so I don't think they did it. Uh, I doubt it was Donald and Amber. So first off, um, Amber told me that they created this big chat with basically everybody in the house except for me, Kristen, and Simon. And of course I went and told Simon, who then told Kristen, and she just went off on that entire group and they thought it was Ashley, which is hilarious. Ali doesn't seem the type to stir the pot. Um, Ashley, I really do think Simon is out to get Ashley, but um, Jesse thinks it was Ashley. Um, I think there's a possibility that Kristen doesn't know and that Jesse's just made that up. So, um, and I am wary of Jesse. She does seem like she's a smart player and a bit aggressive and ruthless. So I am being a little more involved now. I'm a little more active. I'm feeling a little more better. I still have my moments. Um, but I'm hoping to stay around and seek some revenge and keep the chaos happening. <laughs> Trying to avoid the paranoia that, it's called, that we are now facing and is, it's a bit ironic, but um, yeah, I don't think, like I've said before, I don't think Ryan is going to use our votes. I think he's just going to nominate either me, Jesse, or Ashley. All right, guys, uh, all the votes are in. I did get votes from everybody, so I'm going to read off an order uh, from the lowest to the highest uh, who got uh, the most number of votes to the least number of votes, and I'll kind of start from there. So, with zero votes to nominate, um, Allie, Mikey, Amber, and Don, you're all safe. You had zero votes, so congrats. Um, so next, with a single vote um, for nomination, was Ashley. Um, she is safe, so congrats. Um, next up, with two nomination votes, also safe, is Josh. Um, now that's just where it starts to get a little bit dicey and a little bit interesting and it looks like people's true colors really did come out and there's a lot of split votes between a few people so um, Brendan, Kristen, Simon, and Jesse um, all had a ton of votes split between the four of them um, however um, Simon only had three votes so he's safe uh, so that leaves Brendan, Kristen, and Jesse uh, was separated just by one vote so uh, Kristen, you only had four votes, so you're safe. So that leaves the two nominees for this week being Brendan and Jesse, who both received five votes for nomination. And again, yeah, I don't really have much to say. Um, everything kind of speaks for itself. You received five votes from each of your fellow housemates, so if, I guess take it up with them. They're the reason that you're sitting up on the block this week. Um, best of luck with the power veto. And hopefully you guys can take one of yourselves off and, and change the course of the game and change your fate. And then we'll have to decide who goes up as a replacement from there. So stay tuned for that. Best of luck. We played a little bit of nominee chaos roulette type 
uh, stuff, I guess you could say. Um, so, I already knew coming into this week, I was going to put up Brendan and I was going to put up Jesse. Um, just turned out that it wound up working in my favor anyway. So, went around, had everybody uh, give me two people they wanted to nominate and see what we can call some paranoia and some chaos, which it absolutely did. It's been a good week. I'm not on the block, which is, I don't know, amazing. So no surprise that Jesse and I have been nominated. Um, I don't think anyone is going to see past the bullshit of uh, the, the so-called votes that were counted. Um, I think that's just Ryan's lame attempt to stir the pots. Um, I mean, if, if that is exactly how the votes were, then congratulations, everyone has played me. And um, I mean, they've put a hell of a lot of fucking effort into it, but well done, good, good on everyone. Ryan is not making this easy for me, shit. They are gonna find out, and it's gonna be so bad for me. Like, on a personal level, it's bad for me. Like, I like them all, and I feel like shit. But I had to break up that guy's alliance, I had to. Do I think Ryan's with me? Yes. Do I think he's with Simon? Yes. Do I think they'll cut me when the time is right? Yes. The paranoia is setting in. A fucking brilliant move by Ryan and Simon to throw fire on it and use the NAC picked up Brendan and Jess to a nomination system that I question the validity of because I don't know if that actually happened apparently I got two votes from Jesse and Mikey it's believable like I don't know he's either lying to everyone or he's being straight up with everyone he's well, one of the two and I don't know which and that concerns me I'm reclining there. but yeah that concerns me uh, I gave Josh two votes and told him that Mikey and Jesse voted against him I don't know if he actually buys it but uh, I know Josh is saying that Alliance is kind of on the rocks and he wants to jump ship, so I'm hoping that I can convince him to kind of come over to our side. Because, I don't know if he's being honest or not, but he's not my main concern. So, Brendan and Jesse are on the block, and Jesse, I've not really spoken too much, but Brendan I trust quite a bit in this game. What had happened was, the two people with the most votes was Brendan and Jesse. And of course, everyone was like, it's a lie, it doesn't make sense, you know. That's not true. He's probably just lying and nominating them and saying that we all betrayed each other. And I believed it. Ryan's way too good of a player to not do that. And I, I'm sure Simon is too, but I don't know. He doesn't talk to me that much. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. I'm just trying to keep everybody calm. But damn, like, the shit I even post in the chat doesn't make me sense. How don't they know it's me? Maybe Amber and Dawn nominated Jesse to stay in the middle because if she's still in the alliance with Clayton who's gone but with Ryan and Simon and Dawn then maybe they said her name let her get nominated but still let us believe that she was on that they were on their side and against them and made them look like they were lying and just completely playing both sides which would have been smart um I don't know if that's what they actually did but um she was on the block so last week I wanted Clayton out this week I want Josh out. I'm not giving up that hope. I'm gonna push really hard for him to be a renom if the POV gets used. Obviously Amber lies, obviously Donald lies, obviously everybody just fucking lies and I hate this whole fucking cast. Like every time I play a game with them, it ends in this situation and- So Ryan did this thing and we were originally gonna like lie about who voted for who, but literally they were all true. From what I know. So, that's bizarre. That side broke like that. They shattered completely. I have no idea who's playing who. And again, it's just pitting everybody against each other. And did I manipulate some of the votes? Yeah, but I'll tell you, they did legitimately get five votes for nomination. Brendan um, got Simon's vote, Kristen's vote, Allie's vote. Um, Don said to vote for whoever, so I threw him in there. Um, Amber voted for him, and he actually technically got six, because Josh said I could vote however um, I wanted him to. So he technically could have got six, but I put him down for five. If the noms stay the same, I'm thinking that I'm going to have to vote Brennan out, but oh my god, Brennan and I are in the Ecstasy Fam chat, and he is my Ecstasy Fam, and I really like him, but you know what, when we played Ecstasy, he didn't even acknowledge that I was in the final three, so, you know... This power of veto competition will be a battle of mental skill. You will be given a puzzle that you will have 12 hours to complete. At the end of the time limit, you will submit a screenshot with your final score.
You may complete this puzzle as many times as you wish. However, once you have locked in your final time, you will not be allowed to submit another. The player who completes this puzzle in the fastest amount of time will win the power of veto. Alright, this is the Power Veto Ceremony. I am going to keep this short, sweet, to the point. I am deciding not to use the Power Veto this week. Uh, best of luck to the nominees. And with that being said, this Veto Ceremony is adjourned. Wow, so I cannot have asked for a better week uh, this week. And then Ryan won the veto and he didn't use it because he had no reason to. It really wasn't me because everybody that, that I votes I named, they had the votes. So looking at who I had, Brendan legitimately did have five people that voted for him. Simon, Kristen, Allie, Don, and Amber. Uh, Simon only had three votes. Ashley, Jesse, and Brendan. Kristen only had four votes. Ashley, Jesse, Mikey, and Brendan. Everybody that has said, they had legitimate votes, and those are legit nominations. Anybody that doesn't believe me, I'm sorry, but that was the truth. Your people turned on you, and now I've got Mikey and Jesse right in the palm of my hand. I've got Don and Amber right in the palm of my hand, and now they're so pissed at each other. Me and Simon are in the perfect spot. We're right in the middle, and no one knows that we're talking to, each, to both sides. We're literally in a chat with the most everybody in the house. We went from being on the bottom to now crucial numbers in these different factions, and all my chaos and my plan worked, and now I'm sitting good. And that was my my main goal for this week, was to win the HOH, come out not being the target, and not having any blood on my hands. And I feel that I still don't, because Jessie's not going to be mad because she's going to stay. I'm going to make it clear that she's not the target, and I want to continue to work with herself and with Mikey. So Brenda leaves this week, had the biggest proponent, biggest person that's going for me, get him out. And then maybe next week we look at trying to take out Josh. Hey guys, before I get into my plea, I just want to respond to a couple of these accusations from Simon. Um, firstly, being homophobic, that doesn't make sense as I'm bisexual. Um, <laughs> I've, been, I've been called a lot of things in my time. Why, I don't know, it doesn't make sense why I would then project it onto Simon who's, I mean, besides being a little bitch, I mean, there's no way I would ever call him anything in relation to his sexuality. Um, secondly, in terms of being a pedophile, had I known anyone was a minor in the group, I definitely wouldn't have sent any nudes. And it's funny how all of a sudden, now that I've called him out for his alliance with Ryan, now he's he's got a problem with um, my nudes, which no doubt he's screenshotted and uh, kept for his wank bank for later. So it uh, speaks volumes of, of his character as well. Um, anyway, in relation to my plea, there's not much I can say. Uh, most of you who I've spoken to know who I am and what I'm about. Um, if you're aligned with Simon, obviously I'm not going to be good for your game, but if you are not on Team Simon or not in uh, not one of his puppets like Ryan, um, I will be of obviously of great benefit to your game. Um, if you keep me, that's great. I'll definitely be very thankful and grateful, and obviously the target would be Simon. Uh, if you don't keep me, that's fine. majority of you I'll still speak to you after the game. So thanks, guys. It's been fun. If I see you on the other side, we'll just kick some ass afterwards. Okay, this is my final plea. I hope y'all keep me, okay? I want to stay. I want to play. It's been really fun, and I hope I can continue to play with y'all. Lots of drama this week. Brendan will nominate Simon, clearly, and Simon will nominate Brendan, because Simon made some comments which were a bit much. I don't think that they were fair comments at all. I think they were extra... I thought, I like, I wasn't really involved because it wasn't my argument, but I sat there like... This is just disgusting. I'm really not a fan of Simon. I'm really not a fan of Kristen. I feel like they're kind of like bullies. Um, really rude, quick to judge, quick to call names. You can't say the word faggot in these games. That's not acceptable. It's not going to go. Even though pedophile is kind of worse. And it's kind of weird. Nobody really makes a big deal about that one. But you guys seem to don't care about that word and call each other all the time. It's just fucked up and weird to me. But whatever. I wasn't happy with that. 
But I don't hate Simon. I don't hate Simon. I just wasn't happy with what he was saying. And because I was thinking, you know what? Like, it would have been, even if he had this opinion necessarily, if he would have expressed this immediately during the fact, but now he's suddenly just throwing anything out there to get Brendan to leave. It just feels a bit. I don't know. It feels like it's in bad taste and I didn't like watching it. I didn't. I don't know. It was drama that I kind of wish hadn't happened. I mean, I don't know. Does Ryan and Simon know just how deep I am with it? Is this all a ploy to shatter my relationships over there? I don't think so. I don't think it's that deep. I don't know, just staying out of the fray. I want these people to calm down, you know what I mean? Because right now the game is set up where we can have a rocky but smooth finish. You know, smooth to the end. Jesse probably go home just because I think we need um, to build an army against Simon at this point. Um, and Kristen and, and Ryan. Um, they're pretty strong. They're pretty rude. And they need to be taken down a notch. Jessie, I do trust her. I will keep her this week, though. Um, cause so far, she hasn't done me wrong, so I might as well just keep her at least for a week or so. I just don't get Mikey and Jessie's deal. I mean, you know, Jessie tells everybody everything, just like Kristen. Drives me fucking nuts. No, I don't... I just, this is very, very nerve-wracking for me. More nerve-wracking than it ever needed to be. If Ryan would have just fucking nominated two people and just fucking been done with it, it would have been no problem. Brendan, I feel like I'm going to evict him because he caused a lot of shit this week. <laughs> like, oh my god. Brendan maybe wouldn't start chats out of the blue because I would have never wanted to go into the chat. Although then I probably would have had to to monitor it. Ugh, fuck. This is where the game now gets interesting. So, people are saying we want to get rid of Jess. We we're going to get rid of Brendan. I'm sitting there like, you know what? I'm not up for this. So I start working to ensure to I start some work to get Brendan to stay. And it turns out I and Brendan are also doing that. And Ashley was on board. Everyone's on board with it. It's like, whoa, I don't even have to do anything, which was good. Um, I know I have my DR power that I will plan to use if I have to. Out of nowhere. Bam comes this power from Don. Remove a vote. I was I was shook when he he said that I was like <gasps> I was shook to the core. And I was so elated because I didn't go for that DR power. I forgot that DR power existed. But Josh has one too, so if he's not with us, we could be in trouble. Definitely worried about the alley cat. This is exactly what we need because we don't know where Ali's vote is going to fall. Personally, I want him to use it now. And I hope Brent, I think Brent's going to stay tonight, which is good. I think tonight's going to be it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a bit of an awkward call. Never mind. So when it came down to the votes, we basically were so sure that um, Jesse would stay and that Brendan would go because he started fighting with people. Everyone wanted him out. Even our enemy Simon wanted him out. So that's how it was falling. And so all I have was hope for Jesse to stay. When I reveal the vote, the evicted house guests will have a few moments to say their goodbyes before they are ejected from the house chat. With one DR power used, nullifying one vote against Brendan, by a vote of four to three, Justin, you have been evicted from the game of control.